What is going on YouTube? It's that kid Dimes here bringing back another video and as you guys can tell by the title I am making a video on how to level up your battle pass in season 3 Probably one of the easiest seasons to level up your battle pass It's like it's insane how fast you could do it this season because of all the challenges and stuff like that but I'm just gonna get straight into the video, but before we start a video, um, I just want to thank everybody for support, everybody for the likes, the subscribes, thank you so much, and in the video, I'll actually be showing on how to get, how to complete the gas station challenge, like three gas stations in um, one game, I'm showing it in the video, so just follow what I do, and uh, yeah, let's start with the first step. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe, and let's get it. The first one is obviously buy V-Bucks. Now, honestly... I would only buy V-Bucks if it was early in the game, because now, if you're a person who can't really play that much, now it's not really worth it, there's 30-something days left in the season, and it'll, the, the season will end soon, so it's not really worth to buy V-Bucks now, but if you did buy V-Bucks early in the game, that's when you would buy the tiers, but if you are like tier 40, or higher, I would recommend buying V-Bucks if you want to get to tier 100, obviously, which will uh, give you the Reaper. That's really what everybody wants, I think. The Reaper, or the Epic Agent, or the Elite Agent, something like that. But, yeah, next one is the weekly and daily challenges. And now this is kind of obvious, but let me explain a little bit. For daily challenges, obviously, you get one or two challenges a day. Now, I recommend this. If you don't like playing solos or you can't get, or like, you don't play squads or something, if, if for some reason you can't do the daily challenge, if you go to your challenge board and then press L3, you can actually quit the challenge. L3 for PS4, I don't know what it is on Xbox. You can quit the challenge, and that basically means if, if you quit the challenge, it will give you another one. And basically, you just got to hope it's something that you could actually complete. For example, if you don't know what I'm saying, um, if you don't have a squad to play with, and it's place top 6 in squads, you would quit that challenge, and then maybe you get place top 50 in uh, solos 5 times, which is obviously, that is very simple. So you could just do that 5 times. And also, another thing about daily challenges is, every time you get into top 50, if you have one of those top 25, unless you really want to play the game out, or unless you really want to play the game out, play the game out. But if you are actually just looking to get the tiers, as soon as you get top 50 or top 25, boat up into the air and just kill yourself. There's really no point in wasting time. You are just you could just start another game and easily get um, top 50, top 25 again. This also goes for weekly challenges. Um, some of the harder, well, Fortnite standards, some of the harder challenges... Um, give you 10 stars, and those can be like, um, I don't even know any of the harder ones, but basically, if it's like search chests in Moisty Meyer, something like that, and you go to Moisty Meyer and you only get three chests, as soon as you complete all the chests in Moisty Meyer, build up and just jump off. And the reason for this is you don't want to keep playing the game because you're just wasting your own time. You're, you, all you want to do is get these challenges done so you can get more tiers. But if you really want to keep playing, then keep playing. I honestly just feel like it's not worth it. And obviously, I don't think you get seven chests in one game. So as soon as you get, what's it called, three or it's like three or four you can get in Moisty Meyer. Just build up and jump off. Make sure you do not quit. Because if you quit, then the progress will not be saved. And obviously, you want your progress to be saved. Next tip that I can give to you guys is leveling up. This season, you actually get two stars for every level that you get. And you get ten stars for leveling up to, like, the, like... For example, level 25 or level 30. Every 5 and every 10, you get 10 stars. Last season, it was 1 star for every level. So, it is a lot easier to um to get stars. So, every time you level up, you will get 2 battle stars. So, just make sure you level up. And coming in right after this is the gaming stats. Really, leveling up depends all on your stats. If you don't have good stats, by the way, that dude I just played right there, absolutely garbage. I don't know why he's such a high tier. He was absolutely trash. But, if you guys don't know what I mean by that, leveling up, or game stats, if you don't know what I mean by that, every time you finish a game, at the end of the game, it will show you how much XP you get towards your level. Now, that XP really determines uh, on how many revives you get, how many kills you get, how many, I think, 
if you won the game, it depends. Uh, it depends on that. I think it also depends on assists. I think you get some for that. You get some for opening chests too. Basically, for playing the game. And every time you win with like seven or eight plus kills, that's probably a guaranteed five thousand XP. That's why you see some of the big streamers. They're usually like high levels, cause every game they get really good games. Probably seven, most 10 plus kills. So they get lots of XP. That's why I'm currently at level 80. Because I've been doing pretty good this, this season. I've played around 400 games in squads. I have 80 something wins. So I'm, that's like a, I think it's like an 18% win uh, ratio. Which is really good, honestly. Well, I think so. And I have over 2,000 kills this season. And last season I had like 2,300. And it was at the end of the season. So I already have 2,000 and there's like 30 some days left. So yeah, I've been getting lots of XP. And every time you level up, once again, if you get lots of XP, you will level up. Every time you level up, you get those battle stars towards your tiers. So leveling up is a really big part of it. And if you're not that much of a good player, I don't know what to tell you. It's actually really, really simple to just get kills and like stay alive. Just if you can't fight somebody, try to run away or something or don't fight at all. But try to survive for a long time and try to win at least. Because if you win or survive for a while, you do get a decent amount of XP. If you literally die in the beginning without any kills, you won't get any XP and you won't get any level upgrades. But yeah, guys, that's all I'm going to say for now. Um... The video is almost coming to an end. If you weren't paying attention in the video on how to do the gas station thing, I'm just going to explain it real quick. What you want to do is land at Pleasant. There's a gas station at Pleasant. Right after Pleasant, you're going to want to run to the gas station next to Loot Lake, which I showed previously in the video. Right after that, you run around to the soccer place, which is like west from the gas station. I am showing it to you right now on the video. It's west from the not the soccer place, from the gas the previous gas station. And then there's another gas station down here. The challenge basically is if you don't know, you gotta get three gas stations in one game. Yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below the hardest challenge so far. Thank you guys. It's been Dak of Dimes and I'm out.